Okay, I know why you clicked on this video because yes, I'm officially moving over to Lumix and I'm no longer using Sony in 2023. I had this kind of input where I was using both cameras at one point, but now with the release of the S5 Mark II from Lumix and their phase detect autofocus, I am officially moving over. And there's a couple different reasons why I'm switching. Yes, in full transparency, I have had a relationship with Lumix for the last year, but ultimately the real decision for moving over to the S5 Mark II and Lumix officially has to do with with the new features on this camera. Primarily, number one, phase detect autofocus. I've had this camera for the last two months or so. I've had pre-production models and it is so rock solid when it comes to the autofocus. I know I can press record, especially on my A-roll and get the shots that I want and it's going to be in focus. That's reason number one. Number two, this is massive 6K open gate. Instead of shooting just a normal 16 by nine frame, I'm shooting a three by two frame, which gives me more latitude in terms of my pixels when I'm editing, which means I can crop for social media, which means I can crop for YouTube. And then I can also crop for shorts and vertical content. So that's like massive in terms of this business here, where primarily all the pixels that I'm going out and collecting in terms of video and photo are being distributed on the internet. So 6K open gate, game changer, absolutely essential for me. Number three, is Ibis. Oh, this camera has the best in-body stabilization on the market. I made a whole video about this here. You can click and see the comparisons between Lumix, Canon, Nikon, and Sony. When I was in Japan, I mean, here's some clips showing you the image stabilization. It just looks so good. It's handheld. I'm walking. Those are the three features that made me switch over. And kind of like a last point is that it's only $2,000 for this camera body. With a $2,000 camera body and maybe even a kit lens on it, I don't worry as much about putting it in sketchy situations. I feel like I can get more of the shots and take bigger risks to tell better stories. This is what I hope my camera setup will look like in 2023. I have this main camera set up here. This is the S5 Mark II. This will live with a 24 to 70. Then I'll have a second camera right here. This is my vlogging setup. So this is an S5 Mark II, 16 to 35 F4 lens and the little Rode Go Micro. It's the, the smaller road go. And then I want to ideally have one more S5 Mark II for photography. And I'm super excited about what Lumix is doing right now. I've loved what they did previously. And just to see that they now have phase detect and they're implementing all these amazing things and they continue to get better and listen to their audience with each firmware upgrade. If you guys wanna learn more about the camera, I'll drop the link, you can check things out. There's also a bunch of great reviews. Gerald Undun did an amazing review and you can click all those things. Now, what? to expect from this channel in 2023. I wanna have some updates for you. So expect more comedy. Just like the intro of this video, you're gonna see more comedies, you're gonna see more shorts. I wanna make shorts a bigger priority in terms of growth. So if you have any ideas for shorts or things that you want to see, leave them in the comment section below. And that moves on to my next part. What are the things that I'm excited about moving forward? That is going to be three big pillars, learning, community and collaboration. Let me like delve a little bit more into it. One of my favorite parts about last year is when I went to Greenland. And when I went on that trip, I got to collaborate with Benjamin Hardman. I also got to learn from him for a week. And I feel like I made some of the best content from that trip. So I wanna do more things like that moving forward. I got better at drone photography, normal photography, and I made an amazing friend. So I want to have about six to eight massive collaborations with a bunch of different artists from around the world and different YouTube channels and go and learn from them and make cool stuff. So you're gonna see car photography, you might see some philosophy videos. There's a whole bunch of things that I'm excited about. There was also a moment that I noticed last year where I realized I wasn't growing anymore. Hence why I wanna focus more on learning. I feel like I've been pretty stagnant in terms of my own growth. And I think the only way to do that is by learning from other people, taking courses and making that a bigger priority. I feel like I've already taught you everything that I possibly can teach you. And and so at this point, I would like to take you along on my journey with BTS while I'm also learning and hopefully you will learn too. Another big pillar for me is going to be community. I feel like one of the things that I've lost just by making internet videos all the time is meeting you in real life. So I want to do four big in-person events this year. I wanna start off in Toronto with a big community event, do some photo walks as well as maybe even do a gallery by the end of the year. And I want to bring more people together in in real life to meet and collaborate because when I meet certain creators, that changes the course of my entire life, not only through friendship and learning, but I want to cultivate that 
for you guys. So expect some more community events. Be on the lookout on Instagram to be notified when those events are going to be. I'll also be posting about it here, but I want to meet you in person. I've been super inspired by Matty Apoya's pop-up as well as North Borders and 7th Era's photo walk. So more of that. Thank you guys for inspiring me with the amazing things that you're doing for the community. And ultimately, one of the things that I thought was really interesting when I was kind of like reflecting on 2022 is that by the end of the year, I was just like stressed out and burnt out. And I just like wasn't enjoying my job anymore for a couple of different reasons. I was like, I built this YouTube channel to have more freedom and to enjoy it. And all of a sudden I'm just now created another job where I'm stressed out. And I want to remind you, I'm obviously very grateful for this job, but at one point I just wasn't excited about posting photos or even going and taking photos, making YouTube videos felt very labor intensive. It felt, it felt stressful to make them. And so I want to have more creative projects and I don't want to just have to do things because there's a deadline for a sponsor. Do more of what lights your soul. As an artist, we all start out with this candle. I'm really excited to share our light with a bunch of people. And a lot of people want to try to blow out your candle. So I'm trying to protect more of that this year. That's what to expect in 2023. I want to move away from that fast paced, high concept content. I want to get back to more personality and foster more of what my identity is. So thank you guys for supporting and watching this channel. I love you. Thank you. See you guys in the next one.